Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video we are going to do the detailed camera review of the Nokia 7 Plus. So Nokia 7 Plus is a mid-range smartphone uh, priced 25 to line in India and comes with quite good hardware and we also done a detailed video on the gaming test of this device and uh, it, it came out uh, pretty well uh, for the pricing it is being offered. And this has a Snapdragon 660 octa-core chipset coupled with 4GB RAM. So that's the specifications and it also has a 6 inch full HD plus resolution display. Now talking about the camera, so this device comes uh, with a, a dual camera on the rear panel. It has uh, a primary 12 megapixel camera with f 1.75 aperture and a secondary 13 megapixel camera for uh, with optical uh, 2x uh, optical zoom. And uh, it has a uh, dual tone dual LED flash also included. And uh, uh, the camera is uh, from Zeiss Optics, so that's uh, one of the highlights of the Nokia 7 Plus. Now on the front panel, the Nokia 7 uh, Plus has a 16 megapixel shooter which is quite good uh, uh, for a phone in this price segment. So that's the camera department of the uh, Nokia 7 Plus. Now let's go straight into the camera uh, interface and see how good the experience is. So opening up the camera interface, uh, you can uh, see that uh, it comes uh, with a, uh, a different kind of interface uh, uh, wherein uh, you get uh, some basic features. We have the option to switch to front facing camera flash. Auto HDR mode is there, uh, you can turn on that, then uh, there is option for timer shot, then uh, there is a uh, mode called single, dual and picture in picture. So dual mode enables you to take photos using both uh, uh, the rear camera as well as the front camera, together you can capture image, then there is a uh, beautify mode included, then if you go to the uh, other options, we have this uh, panorama and uh, uh, then pro mode and live bokeh shots is included. And you also get settings where you can uh, do a bit of customizations and uh, uh, change the resolution, uh, add watermark, etc. Then uh, if you go to the video recording mode, uh, this uh, again uh, supports uh, uh, full HD recording and uh, we can, if you go to settings, uh, there are lots of options to choose uh, for the resolution. So there is uh, 4K Ultra HD support, uh, uh, full HD, uh, then uh, HD 720p and uh, 18 is 9 aspect ratio full HD and 18 is 9 aspect ratio HD supported and friendly camera has support for full HD recording. So that's the uh, video aspect of this device. So it's quite a good uh, in terms of the hardware being offered. Now let's go straight into the camera samples we have taken with this device. So these are daylight captures taken with the Nokia 7 Plus. And you can see from the uh, uh, daylight captures, the, the images have come really good. You can uh, see that there is plenty of detail in the uh, images and the noise is kept to minimal and uh, overall the clarity of the photos looks pretty good. The colors are pretty much accurate and uh, they are punctured and vivid colors and overall uh, the details are pretty much uh, evident on the daylight captures. So this device does a pretty good job with the daylight captures and uh, there is auto also auto HDR mode if you want to enable that and uh, it does a pretty good job altogether. So that's the daylight captures taken with the Nokia 7 Plus. Now looking at uh, uh, the close-up images, here again uh, it was quite uh, spot on with uh, uh, the details offered and uh, uh, it did a really good job with uh, the color reproduction as well and uh, overall the clarity of the daylight shots, uh, even the close-up images looks pretty good and the focusing speeds are also pretty good. So uh, overall uh, the Nokia 7 Plus did a really good job uh, with uh, the rear camera in daylight conditions. Now the phone can also do a uh, 2x optical zoom using the secondary 13 megapixel camera and here again the details are pretty much uh, spot on and uh, the zoom works pretty well in case you want to take images of uh, 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 a bit far off objects so uh, you can use the optical zoom. So that's the uh, optical zoom on the uh, 13 megapixel camera. Now looking at the portrait shots, so there is a live bokeh mode uh, which does a, a good job overall. You can see some of the portrait so uh, shots we have taken and the edge detection is pretty good and the portrait is using the secondary camera uh, with the depth sensing and uh, it does a really good job here again. So edges are pretty much uh, okay uh, for most, most part and the quality is quite good uh, for the price you pay for this segment. So that was the portrait samples. Now talking about the low light captures. So, uh, uh, the low light captures taken with the uh, f-stop 1.75 aperture 12 megapixel camera came out quite well uh, we would say uh, there is good detailing and uh, there is slight uh, noise in uh, extreme low light conditions but uh, again acceptable for a phone in this price segment uh, the details are pretty much uh, evident and uh, uh, we would say it's definitely did a pretty good job uh, considering the price segment it is being offered at so overall we don't have too much to complain in the low light department it could have been a tad brighter overall but uh, the exposure could have been tad better but uh, you can uh, uh, increase the exposure by tapping the uh, subject uh, before uh, taking the photos so that is the only uh, probably the only issue we had but other than that uh, it did a quite good job in the low light captures 
Now let's have a look at the video recording. So this device can record videos in 4K resolution as well as 1080p resolution and the uh, 1080p that's a full HD recording as electronic image stabilization included and the video recording was pretty good and it, it was a stable footage without any sort of shakes or even while walking and uh, the video quality looks pretty good. Now let's have a look at the selfie camera. So this comes with a 16 megapixel selfie camera and the selfie shots were quite uh, good, uh, good detailing. Although the skin tones were slightly uh, reddish in nature, we're not sure whether this is uh, an issue with our uh, unit or not, but uh, the uh, skin tones were most of the part, uh, it was uh, having a reddish tone uh, altogether. But overall the details were pretty good and uh, there is also bokeh mode included in the uh, selfie camera which is using uh, software processing and here uh, it was quite acceptable but uh, not the best out there because you can see edge detection was uh, kind of not very accurate around uh, 80 to 85 percent accuracy can be uh, said about uh, the bokeh shots on the Nokia 7 plus. So this is the frame facing camera sample taken using uh, the Nokia 7 plus uh, which has a 16 megapixel camera and it can record videos in 1080p resolution and you can uh, judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is. So now summing up, how good is the Nokia 7 plus as a camera smartphone? So Nokia 7 plus is quite a decent performer in this price segment, uh, the sub 13k price segment and it does a really good job with uh, most of the conditions uh, although there could be some uh, refinement in the camera department uh, including uh, low light performance and uh, also the edge direction on the selfie camera was not that great but uh, overall we would say uh, the camera on the Nokia 7 plus doesn't disappoint although it may not be the best out there in terms of overall aspects but it is definitely one of the good camera smartphones uh, below the uh, uh, 30k price segment right now in India. So uh, that was a detailed camera review of the Nokia 7 Plus. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.